To write the name for K2S, we first need to recognize that this is an ionic compound. That's because we have a metal and a nonmetal. Metal and a nonmetal bonded together, that's an ionic compound. And specifically, it's a binary ionic compound. We have two different elements bonded together. That means it's a binary ionic compound, and we use these rules to write the name. So for potassium, we're going to write the name of the metal, that's the K, potassium, as it appears on the periodic table. So we'll write potassium, and then we write the name for the nonmetal. That's the sulfur. So we'll write, so we write S. It's a small s, and we replace the ending with IDE. So the UR becomes IDE. So the name for K2S is potassium sulfide. If you are given the name and asked to find the formula you'd need to realize that potassium has a one plus ionic charge. Each one of the potassiums has a one plus ionic charge. The sulfur has a two minus ionic charge. So you can see why we need two of these one plus ions, potassium ions, to balance the charge on the sulfur. This is Dr. B with the name for K2S, potassium sulfide. Thanks for watching.